Does a connection exist between artistic ability and mental illness? Robert Schumann, Vincent van Gogh, Tennessee Williams are among the more prominent artists who spent time under psychiatric care. Thelonious Monk, the great jazz pianist and composer, one of the founders of bebop and a major influence on musicians from the mid 20th century on, was another. Mariah Richardson has written a play about him. Monk had periods of feverish work, both composing and playing music, and making attempts to explain in words what he was doing, followed by periods of depression and silence. It's not easy to write a play about such a man. Richardson takes a chronological approach, beginning with his early development as house pianist at Minton's Playhouse in Harlem in the 1940s, where he learned a lot sitting in with leading jazz musicians. Richardson highlights Monk's eventual recognition and his increasing mental problems. She, director Fanny bell and music director Dwayne Bosman, assembled an impressive cast to explore this difficult material, led by Philip Graves as Monk. Graves is not only a highly accomplished pianist, he mastered Monk's quirks in performance, the moments when a policeman would find him sitting on the street unresponsive and take him to the mental ward at Bellevue, where he would plead with his wife and his agent and his doctor to get him out of this place he hated and back to his piano. Rachel Simone Mitchell made distinct three women, Monk's mother Barbara and early girlfriend Ruby, and his wife Nellie. Eliana Steele played the Baroness Pananica Nika de Koenigswater, a Rothschild and a patroness of several leading players of the jazz that fascinated her. She remained close to Monk the rest of his life. Jason J. Little doubled as jazz musicians and close friends of Monk, the pianist Bud Powell and Billy Taylor. Colin McLaughlin played Monk's agent and his doctor in the mental ward. Daryl Mixon on bass and Steve Tatum on drums accompanied Graves Monk. Panchita Argiard managed costumes and props. Next to normal, the Thelonious Monk story ran only two nights at Jazz St. Louis, a co-production of Jazz St. Louis and a call to conscience interactive theater for social change. I hope it has more exposure, uh, perhaps with a less confusing name. <laughs> yes, indeed, I agree completely. Well, let's hear some Monk music. <laughs> ¶¶